Hello everyone, welcome to day 7th of February Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is find the difference. Here in this question we are given two strings S and T and we are also given that the T string differs from the S string by only one character unit. What we need to do, we need to identify that additional character that is present in T which is missing from S. Here for example we are given S as A, B, C, D, we are given T as A, B, C, D, E and E is an additional character present in T which is missing from S. We need to return E as the answer. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation that I have created for this and I'll be talking about two approaches to solve this question. This same question seems like an easy question and I absolutely feel the same. So let's get started here. The two strings are ABC and ABCD. What is the naive approach that comes to everybody's mind when they read this question? Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You create a frequency map and in that frequency map, what do you do? You store the frequency of each character that is present in your input string S and you do a similar kind of a thing for T. So let's get started. We store A, B and C frequency as 1, 1, 1 for S. And while building T, we do a similar kind of thing. Uh, we'll have four characters here. We'll have A, B, C and D and the frequency will be updated to 111 each because we have A here, we have B here, we have C here, we have D here. Now what in the next step, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You start iterating from A up till Z and you find a difference between uh, the character frequency in T versus S. If the difference, if both of them are equal, which is here in this case, you simply proceed ahead. Again, we see B, the frequency is same, we proceed ahead. Next we see C, the frequency is same, we proceed ahead. Next we see D, D has the frequency 1 in T, whereas D has the frequency 0 in S. That means we found a difference. And as soon as you found the difference, you simply return that character. So 1 minus 0 is greater than 0, as a result of which, uh, we did simply return the index that we are currently iterating at. Here in this case, it's D and D becomes the answer. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's talk about the next approach. The time complexity of this approach is length of t uh, and the space complexity is equal to uh, 26 characters. You, the, you're storing the frequency of 26 characters uh, as a result of which the time complexity becomes constant time. However, can we do in a slightly different way? The answer is yes. How? We'll use bit manipulation, the ZOR operation for it. What you can do, you can simply create the ZOR of all the elements that are present in S. So what do we get? A ZOR, B ZOR, C. This is the output after performing ZOR of each character present in S. What do we do next? We create another variable. We do the ZOR of all the characters that are present in T. A ZOR B, B ZOR C, C ZOR D. And finally, we ZOR these two up. So when you ZOR these two up, what do you get? A gets cancelled by A, B gets cancelled by B, C gets cancelled by C. And in the end, what is left? Singular D is left and that becomes your result. Pretty simple and straightforward. Here we don't need to create any frequency map. It is much faster than the other approach. The time complexity is again equal to length of T. So this is it. And the space complexity of this approach is constant space. We are not using anything extra. So here it's equal to length of t and here it's equal to constant time. Uh, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude this up. I am telling you the ZOR approach. You can code the frequency approach by yourself. Here I have initialized the answer character to 0. Uh, I had to initialize it somehow using any variable so I use 0. I iterate through the S loop. I ZOR answer with the current character. Similarly I continue doing the ZOR for the t array as well the t character array in the end in order to nullify this character up i again draw it with zero and what is left is the extra remaining character so let's try this up and we are done 99 percent faster which is pretty good the time complexities i have already explained if you like today's session and you enjoyed it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye Thank you.